Hey Sagittarius, here is the birthday reading for the 29th and the 30th. I will timestamp this for your convenience. <laughs> so we're going to start with November 29th. And I feel like... I feel like the overall message here for y'all is to focus on your coin. I'm, I'm just going to keep it real. Uh, because there is like two different things going on here. Uh, but definitely money is looking good. And it feels like there's also a relationship. But it almost gets in the way. I is what I was feeling because here here we go dark man's dealings with a man with dark complexion or hair um mice which usually means gossiping but this discord among friends or family tower their success here and then there's a rabbit too much concern with sexual matters um I do for one thing I don't feel like this person and, you know, there's no gender in tarot. So, you know, if you're a man, this is your story. If this is, you know, a man in your life, that's your story. It's all your story, right? And they, he could have dark hair. He doesn't, I mean, he doesn't necessarily have to. But I feel like the, you've been on this train towards success, okay? And I don't. I feel, I just feel like this relationship might get in the way of that. Okay. It might throw stuff like in terms of distraction for sure. Because in terms of this money, we're seeing the world, the five of wands, the ten of pentacles, the four of wands. I It feels like this is a new job to me. Or about a job. Because here we have the two of cups, the three of pentacles, and the ten of swords. And it feels like that's the problem in the relationship. But overall, it just feels to me like, like this relationship might actually get in the way of your money. It's not this person, you know, I, I just feel like it might be too distracting. And, and I mean, we have to go where we have the most success, right? This could be a sexual relationship for sure. Or it could just be this person. It, that's their way. Because I, I do feel like this person was... Um, I feel like there's a lesson here for you. And, and I kind of feel like it's a lesson about you. And it's a lesson about making yourself and your success and your stability... Your main priority. <clears throat> because the Wheel of Fortune is here. With Temperance, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Moon. Because I, I don't think that you see it. But, um, you know, focusing too much of your time on this relationship could actually get in the way of your success. And I, I feel like there's, it's a possibility that there's a new job here. And somehow this person interferes with that you know I don't it feels to me very much like you're going to have to choose either this person or this relationship and I or or your success and I wonder very much whether this person's even interested in a relationship that's the thing I like if it, it actually feels like this person is mostly about you know, about the booty, y'all. And and I'm not trying to hurt anybody for sure. Um, it, there definitely may be a thing where your family doesn't like this person. Maybe they see something you don't see. You know, to be honest. The world is here with the Five of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. And once again, you're being cautioned about letting something get in the way of your success. And this is something... New. This is a new cycle of success for you. And it's very promising. It's very promising. And I feel like it's also telling you that your family knows. They may not have the information, 
but you're definitely getting the information. It could be that this person's involved with someone else. But at the end of the day, this person interferes with the stability you're trying to create in your life. That is actually really here for you. It's really here for you. And I feel like the universe is trying to tell you the way to bring things into balance for yourself. Temperance, the way to call your power is to make you your main focus. To put your energy into your nine of pentacles. You know, and it seems like you don't see it. You know, it, it does. I mean, I don't mean to give you like the uh, the hard talk, but, and I feel like this has happened before. I feel like this person, because we're seeing the Hermit, the Seven of Cups, and the Knight of Swords, I feel like they've they've kind of distracted you in the past from where it was you were trying to go. And I don't really like to say that. I don't like to say that you have to pick a relationship or your career. But in some way, this person interferes with your career. Maybe, you know, takes up too much of your time. I don't know. But in some way, they create a blockage for you. And I feel like maybe your family or your friends or people who know you have been trying to tell you this. You know? Yeah, y'all, I don't know what to say about that. You know, and I do also feel like this new opportunity for success is coming for you. It may actually ruin your chances with it. <laughs> Guys. Okay, November 30th, this is an interesting reading, and it's really interesting to me how everyone's readings are coming out about success and money. <laughs> it feels like it. It feels like it. So, I mean, that's good news. And probably because Jupiter is going to be going direct at the end of December, I think, or January. But, okay, November 30th, this is interesting. Because you have get back to basics, good fortune, financial gain from something you did in the past, and May. Now, I think that May is when you're going to see this success. Because when I ask for May, you're definitely going to have to make a decision here about what you're doing. You know, you definitely are. The lovers is here with the two of wands. And this isn't about love. The lovers is always a choice. Um based on what you feel aligned to and and definitely a head versus heart choice you know using everything so let's get into it okay so i don't know what this is for you but it does definitely feel like something that you did in the past is coming back around um and it was dead to you for sure <laughs> it was um, Page of Swords Reverse with the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. There's nothing you need to learn. It's like you, you have authority on this thing. You definitely do. And you probably put a lot of time into it. But now there's a, a huge possibility for success. Now this could have something to do with learning for sure. It could. Um... But it's definitely something you backed away from. You could also be, this could have something to do with teaching, I was just hearing. Especially since we're seeing the quill here too. But, you know, the king of swords female, someone gives you advice. Okay, or you could be getting this information from a female, definitely, well, an air sign. Um, but this is someone who gives good advice. This is what I'm saying. And I feel like the advice that they're giving you is to go back to this thing, but to do it differently. Like to take a look at it and see um, where things went wrong. So if there was something that you did in the past that you had to abandon because it really wasn't, it wasn't proving to be successful... 
the five of cups often has to do with something that you're doing right so it could be making a wrong move doing a wrong thing right so it's really asking you to it is the same thing okay so something about it is the same but there's some small thing here that you can change to make this successful and I feel like you might have some trouble figuring out what that is but it definitely has something to do with online Knight of Swords often represents social media um, something online and the Eight of Swords is also only seeing one way of doing things. And this is telling you that there's another way to do this thing to make it successful. Right? I'm not really totally sure why this is coming back up. It could be all of a sudden, you know, you know, look at it like this. Maybe you have a website, right? And you gave up on it because, you know, nothing was happening, nobody was coming, then all of a sudden, something happens. This really, I can tell you that this is really what has happened with this channel. Okay, so for over a year on this channel, I had 25 subscribers. I was close, y'all. I was, I was giving it up, you know, because I didn't want to keep putting all my time into something that wasn't going anywhere. You know, and I wasn't doing it for fun. Y'all, this is my living, <laughs> you know. So, so basically, it happened one day. One reading I did about someone feeling regret. And literally overnight, I had 2,000 followers. It, it really seriously happened that fast. You know, and then I... I, of course, you know, took a look at all the analytics to see what was working. But mostly what I did was I started posting every day. Posting every single day. And, you know, yes, we all have our own style. But there's something here that you were kind of stuck on doing it a certain way. And... You're supposed to look at a different way. And and you are, like, whoever gives you this information is, like, getting you excited about it again. And I do feel as if you are going to reach this, this point in May. And what is this point exactly? To decide what you're doing. Okay, so with the lovers and the two of wands... This definitely, you you may have a choice over two things, right? But you're going to be seeing success with this in May. Maybe it's not like major, major success, but it does say that you money is coming to you. <coughs> but May is, I, I kind of feel, May is going to be a turning point in this for you. You know, I, I don't know what exactly that is, but in May, you're going to have to make a serious decision about it. Maybe whether you're going to commit to it the whole way, right? Definitely you are. Hmm. The Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, which is usually someone playing games. The King of Pentacles and the Fool on the bottom. Be very careful. Like, I feel like this King of Swords female gives you good advice. But it does feel as if there is someone else who... I, did, I feel like this happens in May. You start to have some success and then all of a sudden it stops again. And then there's, you're receiving help. Huh. So maybe that's the point in which you're going to have to decide. The King of Pentacles is like a mentoring energy. So it could be someone who, who also does this thing. Who gives you a really good piece of advice. 
moving forward. Wowza. <laughs> okay. So that's what I have for you. I hope it really helps. Toodles.